Hello everyone! Today, we are going to talk about the greys. The extraterrestrial group of species commonly referred to as the greys is one of the most misunderstood groups currently involved with the shift happening on planet Earth. According to most sources, they originated somewhere in Orion, possibly in the Regal system or in Zeta Reticuli II in the Reticulum system. Because their image has been widely portrayed in the last 70 years of pop culture through movies, TV shows and the like, their appearance evokes the typical image that most people associate with extraterrestrials or aliens, even though many or most of the extraterrestrials dealing with Earth look very similar or just like humans. From the wide variety of reports from contactees and whistleblowers, we understand that the typical grey is 3.5 to 5 feet tall. They have bald, oversized heads, thin frames, and their characteristic grey skin tones, which is where they get their name from. Their large, dark eyes, which are said to be covered by lenses, sit alongside tiny mouths and noses to give them their characteristic look. There are many different types of gray aliens, some of them having different skin colors such as green, bronze, and a type of violet purple, as well as different facial features and heights, with some of them approximating more the height of a human or even taller, reaching up to 12 feet tall. According to researchers such as Paola Harris, the depiction on non-human looking ETs like the greys in mainstream media has greatly helped to alienate people from the concept of extraterrestrials, who in the 50s and 60s were primordially reported to be human looking, making them a lot easier to relate to compared to the eerie, big-eyed grey aliens that we're all familiar with. One of the main characteristics of the greys is that they have gotten rid of their natural bodies, replacing them with fiber-printed synthetic containers created through cloning, hybridization, and inbreeding into which they pour their consciousness, which are the bodies that we see when we encounter them. They can use these artificial robotic bodies interchangeably across different environments, and they are known to even sell them to other ET groups which adds to the confusion of who they are and what is their mission. Even though their bodies are robotic and artificial, they are not simply robots as many people believe, having their own soul, consciousness, and agenda. Something very characteristic of the greys is that they come off as invasive species because they believe that it is good to influence and to try to correct different systems and societies, resulting, for example, in their manipulation of timelines on planet Earth, as well as their involvement in cattle mutilations and human abductions, where they are often seen alongside other beings such as the praying mantis types. By getting rid of their natural bodies, they also seem to have lost their spirituality and to humans, they come off as very cold and emotionless. This combination of their invasive nature and their apparent lack of emotions have caused many people to judge them as evil or even diabolical, when in truth, they are just a group that can be hard to comprehend through the human lens. According to their own origin story, as reported by Tactical Advisor Tim, the closest translation to what they call themselves is the First Order, since they see themselves as the first ones to try to preserve the natural order and harmony of the universe. They strive to accomplish this mission by collecting certain types of warrior-type species under one umbrella, in order to fix the problems that can come up among the species that are considered warrior-types. They also do this by offering their help and working for other species, managing and administrating different planets and star systems. The greys are an interdimensional and interfrequential species that also has time-traveling abilities. One of the main reasons for their seemingly invasive nature and agenda 
is that they carry a lot of trauma because they claim they destroyed themselves in a previous version of the universe in one of the three main master lines that they refer to. Most sources agree that they reached a dead end, or like some would say, they hit the wall when they reached level 6 consciousness, or according to others, the 12th density or dimension, but could not go any higher due to their loss of spiritual connection that resulted from them getting rid of their original natural biological bodies. Since the greys have been part of the creation and genetic manipulation of humans, it is highly probable that many of the practices that we see in society have been heavily influenced by them, such as having societies organized in hierarchical systems ruled by elites, as well as putting a lot of importance on contracts and economic development. According to several ET contactees, some species like the greys that did not make it in a future timeline came to our present timeline on Earth to harvest original DNA from humans in order to start reconstructing their bodies, which they did with the permission of the world governments who got advanced technology in return. Among other reasons, they are collecting DNA from Earth's humans because the original human DNA design allegedly contains the blueprint of God consciousness itself, which is what is necessary to open the portals to ascend to higher levels of existence. Because of this, we should be very careful of the many dangers that arise when humans start to artificially alter their own genetic sequence away from the original divine blueprint. A very interesting take on the origins of the greys and their presence on Earth comes from the Andromedans as reported by Alex Collier in his book Defending Sacred Ground. According to the Andromedans, the greys were originally a much more human-looking race that was captured 891,000 years ago while leaving their home in Zeta 1 or Zeta 2 to explore and do their own thing. They were captured by a group from Orion that was already genetically altered and under the control of the Alpha Draconians. This group got rid of most of the grey females in order to control their birth process, and then they genetically altered the remaining females so that all children born thereafter would be genetically modified. The males were enslaved, made to work in mines, and basically treated as a natural resource by the Orion group who was itself controlled by the Alpha Draconians. This Andromedan account of the Greys claims that after their unfortunate enslavement and genetic manipulation by the Orion group, they continued to propagate the problem by manipulating the genetics of other races, such as Earth's humans. Furthermore, the Andromedans say that even though it seems that the greys have been on Earth for thousands of years, they actually got here in 1931 and used their time-traveling technology to travel back in time and appear to our ancestors as if they had been here for a long time in order to control humanity's perception of them. Allegedly, they are not the only species that have done this, as there is at least one other group from Sirius B who did a similar thing. The Andromedans say that the greys are so interested in this planet because there are only about 2,000 real greys left who are desperately trying to save their race from extinction since there is a new frequency coming into the galaxy and the third density or dimension is beginning to implode on itself. By combining their genetics with ours, they are hoping to capitalize on the extremely large range of emotions and spiritual potential that we carry in our DNA.